It's February 8th, and time is running out for people who live in Kalispell's Fairbridge Inn. Just two more full work days until February 11th, and that's the day the owners promise to evict everyone and cut off the lights and heat. New tonight in our top story, a Portland-based development company plans to gut the Fairbridge and turn it into studio apartments that will rent for close to $1,000 a month. But advocates tell us dozens of people can't find a place. On that list, some of our most vulnerable NBC Montana's Dominic Vidiello is working for you to find solutions. Halls like these are home to over 6,000 students in the Kalispell School District. School's not just a way to get an education. It's sometimes a break from problems at home. Experts will tell you losing a place to live is at the top of that list. We do find that it's, it's very detrimental to this, to the to the kiddo that's trying to go to school and have consistency, um, it's an extra challenge that came up. And in this situation, um, it was of no doing of their own. They got dealt a raw deal. That's where this email from Kalispell School's homeless liaison comes in. Casey Driscoll writes a handful of families have nowhere to go and that the district's nonprofit called Heart Locker needs help. Driscoll told me at least 10 families with students will be facing homelessness. Driscoll runs the Heart Program, a nonprofit aimed at helping students struggling with homelessness. The program is offering to assist financially if any vacancy can be found. The email goes on to ask if anyone knows of any alternatives to reach out. Samaritan House is already making plans for eviction day, but people here know shelter living can be tough. It is heartbreaking if there's a, a student that becomes homeless. That's a difficult scenario for any kiddo. So we want to make sure that the kiddos especially are provided for anything they need. The final sale of the Fairbridge Inn closes Friday the 11th, with many families still struggling to find a place. And while no one is sure of how many people here are students, advocates are sure a struggle to find a safe place to live is reaching into our classrooms. Reporting in Kalispell, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana.